everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i'm gonna talk about how to fix delta force is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging fps drop stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one we need to do a restart so to do a restart we just need to go over here in the start icon click on the power icon and now from here, click on the start icon over here. Then just go over here to the power icon and just do a restart. Once a restart is done, we just need to try. This is as a very basic step that can be done. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now we are in the Steam. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties. Now from here, if you go over here to the installer file and you can see the game is installed on local disk D. So just close this, close this as well. Go back to the local disk. Now from here, we have to go to this PC. Now from here, we have to go to local disk D. Now from here, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, what we need to do is just navigate to Delta Force. Now from here, we have to go to launch it. And now from here, we have to launch the game. So try launching the game from here. That is what you have to do. So when you launch the game from here, most probably the issues will be fixed. So you need to try this as well. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, right click, go to show more options and we have to go to the properties. Now from here, that is a mistake. Just select the application, right click, show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Set this to Windows 7 first one. Go to apply. Or you can set this to Windows 8. Go to apply. Next one, click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. And once it is successfully done, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, go to documents. Now from here, we have to find the folder for Delta Force. Just go to my games. So if you find the folder over here for the Delta Force, delete the respective folder. Keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. Now click on this one and from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here and click on system and security go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an airport feature through windows defender firewall now from here what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and once you know now you need to go over here to the delta force and right now as you can see the delta force is added so you have to make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public that is what you have to do so once you cross check this, we just need to close this and we need to go back and try launch the game. Stay if you're having the trouble, we need to move one. We need to unplug all the USB devices. So if any external devices are connected, for example, joystick or any other peripherals might be connected, just unplug everything. And once everything is unplugged, we just need to go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here. Search board system configuration and we need to click on this one and we have to go over here and click on the services and we have to go to disable or go to hide all Microsoft services, go to apply and go for OK. And once it is done, we just need to close this. We need to try launching the key. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties make sure enable the steam overlay while in game you just need to turn this off so once afterwards try launching the game still if you're having the trouble just go over here and give the commands to the launch option so the first command is we need to give bx11 if bx11 is not working try with bx12 if bx12 is not working we need to try with b3 b2 try these commands and if you're still having the trouble just remove everything once everything is successfully removed, just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable, like I said, stream overlay, everything is done. Now we need to close all the overlay and over talking application. So just go over here in the start icon, right click and go to the task manager. 
And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. And all these things are actually affecting the performance when you're launching the game. When Discord, Epic Games launches, all these things are running in the background. They're going to affect your performance. So we just need to go over here, right click. Go over here and go to the end of the task, remove it and go to the Epic Games Launcher and go over here and remove it. Once everything is successfully removed, it, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for graphics settings, just click on this one. And what we need to do is we just need to click on add desktop app. Now from here, what we need to do is go to this PC, go to local disk E. So the Steam library, Steam amps go to the common. Now if you may go to Delta Force, select this one and we have to add it. So go to launcher and on the launcher, just go for Delta Force. And we need to go to binaries and here we'll be fine. This is the application. So just add the application. Once afterwards, you can see Delta Force is added. So just go over here and expand this. Now GPU preferences, this should be changed into higher performance. And once everything is changed into higher performance, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for your advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Go to the advanced, go to the settings, go to the advanced, go to the change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk. Right now the game is on local disk D, so you have to select this. Go to the custom size, select this one and go to the initial size that is 1.5 times the total tramp. Now the maximum size is 3 times the total tramp. Now we just need to go over here. We need to go to the calculator and we need to select this one. Now from here you have to type the RAM. So 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to type this one and you have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings this particular value. Copy and paste it. Next one, we have to go over here. 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And we have to multiply it with 3. That is 14 and 152. And copy this. And we have to paste it. So once everything is being done, you just need to close this and try launching the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here. Navigate to settings. So if you don't find settings, just search for the settings. Now from here, we have to go over here, navigate to Windows Update and just update the windows. Make sure the windows is up to date. So if the windows is up to date, you're fine with it. Once afterwards, just go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to the NVIDIA. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just go over here and you can see you have to select everything. Like if you're on the GeoForce, select GeoForce. If you're on the GeoForce 16 series, select 16 series. And if you're on the GeoForce GTX 165, it will select this one. And if you're on the Windows 11, select this one. And if you're on the English, select everything and go for find. And right now, as you can see over here, you can see everything has been done. And once afterwards, and if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if the system is based on 566.36, you have to download this one and install. And if you're on the Microsoft Visual C++, just go over here and you have to download. So if the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one and install and restart. And that's what we have to do. So even after trying with this, all this until if you're having the trouble, we need to try a few more steps. That is, we need to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties, go to installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is actually going to cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So this is very important step. We're just going to take a bunch of time because it's going to get processed a lot. So we need to wait. And once everything is successfully done, I'm going to show you a bunch of steps that can be done afterwards this.
And once done, close this and try lodge the key. So next one, we need to uninstall and reinstall the key. Just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the key. And for reinstall it back, we should not be installing it back on the same local disk, but you have to try either E or C because right now the game is on D. So try E or C. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to visit our website, Game Setters, for more these kind of videos. That's it. Bye.